Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Giselle Adams. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, September 5th, 2024. Now let's dive into history with Catherine. Thank you, Giselle. Good morning, Patriots. Today is history, September 5th, 2006. Candy Cork became the first female solo anchor of the weekday network evening news broadcast. Candy served as a co-anchor of the Today Show from 1991 to 2006 with Brian Goble, but she replaced him as the anchor because of how well she did as the co-anchor. Her salary of $15 million per year made her the TV's highest paid news anchor. This is a groundbreaking moment for women in the news. I really hope I could be one of the next solo anchors. That sounds so cool. Now let's go to today's menu with Elia. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, crunchy tater tots, baby carrots, garden salad, ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is banana muffin, Fruit Loops, String Cheese, Fresh Orange, and 100% Apple Juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time, and don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon apple teeth, now let's go back to Giselle. Thank you, Alaya. That sounds delicious. Patriots, there will be no chewing gum in school, so spit it out. And for phones, make sure not to have them out during school hours. And make sure you're wearing a school jacket or sweater. Here are the challenge rewards. K through fourth will have waffles and dress down, but they must complete 25 Imagine Math lessons and 25 Core 5 lessons. And fifth through eighth, they will have a great time with Sundays and dress down in exchange for a completion of 25 Imagine Math and iReady Reading. So in order to obtain these rewards, you must complete the instructional software challenge. And we can't forget that the top three users will also enjoy the fun. Today, fifth graders will have their fast reading and second grade will take their star reading. And the last test of the week will be for sixth grade. They will be taking their fast reading. The rest of you, make sure to study for next week's fast. Now let's view the weather charts with Zarmel. Thank you, Giselle. How's it going, Patriots? Today, weather's 90 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Sounds like a good day to stay indoors. In other weather news, in Arrington, Tennessee, a dust devil was caught on camera. Dust devils happen when warm air rise, picking up dust and debris. Eventually, the air cools down, blowing the dust to the ground, and this happens over and over again, creating a dust devil. After a few minutes, the dust devil spun higher in the sky before disappearing. Have you ever seen a dust devil? Now let's wish our patrons happy birthday with Adasa. Thank you, Zarmel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Leah Cespedes, David Hernandez, Caitlin Fowler, Kylie Fowler, and Micah Santiago Garcia. Happy birthday! Now let's view some interviews with Patriot on the Go. Hey Patriots, welcome back to Patriot on the Go. I'm Jasmine Smith and today's question is, if you could rename the color blue, what would you name it? Hello, what's your name? Ashanti. If you could change the name of the color blue, what would you call it? Diamond. Is there a reason behind that? Yeah. Why? Because of its blue tint. Oh, I love the color of the diamond's blue tint. Bye bye butterfly. To the blue kangaroo. Hello, what's your name? Chelsea. If you could change the name of the color blue, what would you call it? Eliza. Is there a reason behind that? Because of Hamilton. Oh my god, I love Hamilton and Eliza. Thank you for your amazing answer. Bye! Hello, what's your name? Matthew. If you could change the name of the color blue, what would you call it? Icy. Is there a reason behind that? Because I like ice cold drinks in the color blue. That makes sense. I also love ice cold drinks. Thank you for your amazing answer. Bye! Bye! Thank you for your amazing answers, Patriots. See you next time on Patreon on the Go. Now let's go back to Giselle. Great responses. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Reynolds, Ms. Cavalita, and Ms. Arnold for the correct answer to the daily challenge, which was, what is pop short for in the term pop culture? The correct answer was popular. And now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What's the only part of the human body that can't heal itself? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. 
Everyone here at RPCV would like to wish you all a thriving Thursday. Have a great day!